My blood type is iced tea. My blood type is iced tea. Oh, hello everyone! And welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video that I have wanted to do for a while, and I actually filmed one of these in my old house and then like lost the footage and didn't put it up. But that's fine because my favorite snacks do tend to change from time to time. So just like probably the title says, today I'm going to be showing you my favorite healthy junk food. And let me give you a little breakdown if you're like, what's healthy junk food? Healthy junk food to me are foods or snacks that are definitely not healthy. They're junk food, but they're not like traditional junk food that's maybe got all of the Oh, Dan's sitting behind the camera, obviously. Yeah, like Cheetos, Doritos, I love hot Cheetos. Coke. Like, yeah, he loves hot Cheetos. Like food that's just not good for you for a plethora of reasons. Healthy junk food kind of removes some of those reasons and maybe makes it a smidge healthier. I love healthy junk food. I've been a big fan of it for like ever. So um, today I'm just gonna show you some of my favorite snacks. So let's jump right in. In no particular order, I'm starting off with cereals. These are my two favorite junky cereals right now. I love them so much. And the first one is from a brand called Nature's Path Organic, and this is their Enviro Kids line. And this is called Koala Crisp. And it's pretty basic. It's just like Rice Krispies that are chocolate flavored. Um, lots of writing all over the package for you to read while you're eating your cereal. Did you sleep in a crib as a baby? Young koalas stay in their mom's pouch for six months. Fun fact, I didn't know until right now. Um, okay, so what makes it healthier is that it is non-GMO. Um, it's organic. I also believe, let me see. No, it's not gluten-free. Uh, it's Yeah, it is. It's gluten-free. There's no artificial colors or preservatives and it's lower in sugar. So um, it's just got also very basic ingredients. There's literally only brown rice flour, cane sugar, fair trade cocoa powder, natural chocolate flavor, sea salt, and molasses. So this stuff is so good and I love it. And I'll show you almond milk. And then my second favorite healthy junkie cereal right now is from a brand called Bare Naked Cereal. This stuff is kind of hard to find. Like, I found it at Kroger the other night, but I was at another Kroger and I was at Whole Foods a few weeks ago and then at Turnip Truck, which is a local health food place, couldn't find it, but it's really good. And this has um, little chocolate, dark chocolate chunks in there that's so good. And then there's granola clusters and then little flakes. It tastes, honestly, it tastes like chocolatey Special K cereal, but this is just really awesome because the chocolate is dark chocolate. There's almonds in here. It's fair trade chocolate. Um, and once again, there's just not a lot of ingredients in here. So these are my current favorite, ow, healthy junk food cereal. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna show you three, three snacks now that are also in no particular order. Um, random, these chips are so good. This is from a brand called Plant Snacks. And you can visit their website, plantsnacks.com. This is non-GMO, gluten-free, no added sugar, grain-free, corn-free, there's no trans fats, no preservatives, no artificial flavors, and no MSG. And there's literally like six ingredients in this. It's dried cassava root, sunflower oil, goat cheese seasoning, which is just goat cheese, salt, and enzymes, and nutritional yeast, salt, and beet. And these are cassava crunch beet with goat cheese chips. These are definitely the most unique snack that I've ever had in my life for like a chip. Dude, they're such a weird taste. They taste like, mm, like a potato chip has goat cheese on it. I don't know, it's, it's so interesting. And this brand is starting to be carried a lot more places. So I highly recommend checking this out if you're just wanting like a really different kind of snack because that's what it is. It's really different, it's delicious. So next up, this is empty because Dan and I finished the bag the other night. We did not finish it in one sitting, but we had been eating through it with it, in it, through it, throughout the week when we finished it. And this is from a brand called Black Forest Organic and they make organic candy. So it's candy, still not good for you people, but once again, it doesn't have as many of the funky things in it. And these are called Sour Heads and they're basically just like Sour Patch Kids, but I don't know, I never eat Sour Patch Kids. I think these are chewier than that. They taste more like fruit snacks. Yeah, like they stay in your teeth. They really want to like hang out in your teeth for a long time, but they're really, really good. And I suck off the sour coating when I eat them Ooh. in the beginning because it's just really good. Dan's nodding behind the camera. So, um, next up, 
these, this whole brand is just a really great brand. This is not anything innovative. You've all probably heard of this. This is a kettle brand of potato chips. And they're a non-GMO brand, gluten-free, no preservatives, zero grams of trans fat. And once again, just really basic ingredients. And this flavor right here is really unique and interesting. It's their peppercini flavor, which is like, I think they're like banana peppers. They're little yellow peppers. And it's just a really interesting flavor. So once again, um, if you're looking for like a different kind of snack, this is really good. Fun fat, peppercini yeah. and banana pepper are two different peppers. Fun, fun. Fun fact. <laughs> so next up, I have some more snacks. I don't know why that needed an introduction. Boom Chicka Pop. I got this at Costco. This is their giant bag of kettle corn. Kettle corn, once again, is not good for you. But I like this brand because, like I'm saying with the other ones, there's only a few ingredients. It's popcorn, sunflower oil, cane sugar, and sea salt. And I got this giant bag, like I said, at Costco. It's so good. This is Angie's, by the way. I think the, the product is called Boom Chicka Pop, but the brand is called Angie's, and it's so, so good. If you've never tried kettle corn, in my opinion, you're missing out. It's so delicious. And I just, that snack though, I have to like try to not keep eating it because it's really, really good. So I've mentioned these before. These are the Siete grain-free tortilla chips. My friend Michaela turned me on to these and I don't like these by themselves, but I don't like tortilla chips by themselves either. I like it with a dip, with a salsa or guacamole or something like that. But it's a really, it's yummy. It's very light. It's like a light, crispy tortilla chip. Um, but I like it because if you are like me and you try not to have too much of one ingredient in your diet, like I don't want to just be eating corn all the time, I'll eat this to mix up and kind of like round out my diet so I'm not just eating too much of one ingredient. And I love it. Same thing, basic, cassava flour, avocado oil, coconut flour, ground chia seed, and sea salt. And it's a family owned brand, so that's pretty cool. And they're literally blowing up. This brand is like so many places now, so it's pretty easy to find. All right, so we have our last few items. Um, the first one, random, is a drink. I'm like the last person on the LaCroix bandwagon, but that's because I've never actually liked LaCroix, or as Dan and I like to call it, LaCroix. What do we call it? LaCroix. <laughs> um, but here's the reason I love this one. I actually just ordered three boxes of this off Amazon. This is the passion fruit flavor. Actually, there is no reason, that's it. It's just this is the passion fruit flavor. And I love it so much. And if you've never tried Passion Fruit LaCroix, or you've tried LaCroix and you haven't liked it, I highly recommend checking out the Passion Fruit flavor because my friend Bonnie Kate, when I was filming with her the other day, gave me one. Mmm, so good. So I love that flavor. Then I have these RX bars. These are not really junk food. I mean, anything that's not like food food, like produce or like, like just food, I kind of consider junk food because it's processed. But this is really good. These bars have basically, they're my protein bars now. They're called RX bars. There's 12 grams of protein. And like this chocolate sea salt flavor only has three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, and two dates. And on their packaging, they also said, no BS. Mm. And so I bought this multi-pack, like pack flavor, whatever, from Costco. And it's got the peanut butter chocolate and the chocolate sea salt. The chocolate sea salt is my favorite, but I still like this. Like if I have to have a, a bar and like leaving the house, I need to eat something. It's a, it's a good flavor, but the chocolate sea salt is the bomb. So um, my last one is this Annie's homegrown multi-pack snack pack that I got from Costco the other day. Um, it's really good. I don't even know what else to say. I've eaten like multiple bags. The flavors that come in this box are the organic bunny grams, chocolate flavored. I've had two or three bags of those already. Um, the organic bunny grams chocolate chip flavor, the organic bunny grams honey flavor, and the organic cheddar bunnies. So I'll slowly be eating through these, but I love Annie's. Annie's makes a lot of stuff. They make soups, they make frozen meals burritos, grilled cheese, che or not grilled cheese, um, mac and cheese. I have mac and cheese from Annie's in the cupboard that you can just like, you know, you make the instant mac and cheese. It's just a really great brand because it's definitely, it's like that perfect, this brand encom encompasses the word healthy junk food because it's junk food, but it's on the better side of life in my opinion. So um, guys, that is it. That's the end of this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. I feel like I know a lot about like different 
healthy brands out there. So let me know if you want me to share more with you. And once again, I just wanna say thank you for all the love on my previous videos, my talking videos lately. Um, I just really appreciate it. I have a few more coming up and that's pretty much it. Actually, when you're watching this, my whole face is probably giant and swollen because I'm getting Kybella tomorrow and I'm getting microneedling and I'm filming that too. So you'll get to see that whole process. I'm really excited. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day and yeah, bye.